Okay YouTube, this will be video number two on my Visual Basic implementation of a sequence game. Uh, the original commercial game is by Jax LTD. Uh, so you can watch the, sub uh, the first video for a setup and an overview of the game. But let's actually get into the, the game now. Uh, so notice the game does look a little different than the um, uh, sequence board game by Jax. Uh, they have wild card, uh, wild spaces on the corners, but I basically made them Jax. So I just drew something that looked like a court gesture for a joker in paint, and I just displayed it there in the corners. But those are your jokers. So your deck here consists of two decks with jokers. Okay, all the cards are replicated in two spots of those two decks on the board except for jacks and I'll explain what those are used for in this version of the game but you can see like the three of hearts is echoed down here the three of hearts down here across the diagonal so every every card except jacks is going to appear twice on the board except the except the jokers they're going to be four of them that are in the corners okay so let's go ahead and start this game and yes, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of enhancements I'd like to make in this game. I'm currently teaching myself Java, Java, so sure, I would love to create a version of this game in Java such that we could have a Mac version and a version for Linux in addition to this version that's on the PC. But right now it is only available on the PC because i um, still kind of teaching myself Java. But if I ever uh, you know, get around to it or there's interest, I might go ahead and program it in Java then. Alright, uh, another one of the other enhancements that I would love to learn how to do is I know Visual Basic has some events like on mouse uh, you know on when you click on the mouse it activates a certain event and uh, I imagine it would be something like when I clicked on this chip pile down here this mouse pointer would maybe turn into the chip plus a hand and then I could move that on the screen and then I could let go of the mouse, drag it and then let go of the mouse and it would kind of look like it filled in it filled in the spot in that space okay but uh, right now I don't have that implemented and if someone would like to leave me a comment on an, uh, you know an easy video to watch how to basically convert a graphic into another graphic that basically becomes the mouse pointer and then use those events such that when I drag it moves the graphic and then when I let go of the mouse it basically I don't know what draws concentric circles starting with a little red dot and then a moment later gets bigger and bigger and bigger so it looks like the chip is actually falling into the spot and replacing it but right now it's just going to draw it on there so let's go ahead and get into this as I said the, the board looks a little different we got hearts up here and hearts down here clubs here and clubs are reflected down here spades are here spades are over here and diamonds and diamonds so let's go ahead and play this game and, and play a couple hands and see how it goes so we're team one player one we're like the south player so I'm looking at my hand here and I've got an ace of clubs queen of clubs I'm just looking at one part of the board here I could have looked at the top as well up here um, but uh, let's look here queen of uh, queen of clubs ace of clubs ten of clubs it looks like the 10 and the ace are in a line here so those would look like a good spot to play and the 8 is kind of off by itself over here the 8 of spades and the 9 of hearts so I'm gonna go ahead and play this ace so I'm just gonna click here okay it, it you get it in your heads up display it says you've chosen to play the ace of clubs do you want to either accept it or click yes or no and right now yes is set up by default so I could just hit return but let's just hit the mouse and click yes Okay, so it goes ahead and puts that chip there, and it says uh, press OK to draw a new card. Okay, so you've now draw, driven uh, or drawn the uh, Ace of Hearts. And your turn is done, so now we're going to click OK. And basically now the computer is going to play, play, and this is really fast. And yes, I know I could put in some weight here to look like it's actually magical. It did think behind the background, but it's going to play this spot up here. Okay, so I'm just going to click return. Here's our partner across the way. So good, they're going to play right next to us. That's nice. And the other computer played next to its computer player. Okay, so we're now on round two. Okay, we have no runs yet. Okay, let's look at our hand again here. And yes, as I go back and look at this, there'll probably be a better card to play, and somebody will be watching this go, Yeah, dummy, why didn't you play that? But I'm just kind of doing this kind of fast. Let's play this Ace of Hearts. Okay, yes. OK, 
Okay, we drew a new card. There's computer player, there's my partner, and there's another computer player. Okay, round three. What do we got here? Still, they got, looks like three of five of a run, so we got to be careful in watching them. Uh, let's try, uh, let's see. Uh, seven and ten are kind of isolated. Our hand isn't that hot. How about we play this? Uh, uh, let's do this Queen of Clubs over here. Okay. Computer's playing King of Diamonds. Uh, my partner's playing Two of Diamonds, and the computer other player plays Five of Diamonds. Okay, our turn again. We got a Four of Clubs. That looks like a new card. Uh, that looks like actually a nice card to play. I'm this. I'm getting a little nervous here, so I'm gonna play that card. Uh, so this computer was working on a run of five. Okay. All right. Now we're up to round five. Now let's see where King of Hearts was a new card. Uh, now the, in the real game, uh, I don't know how it works with the the sequence board game, but you got to be watching your hand as jacks are played, which they aren't yet. Um, a space on the board might actually become unavailable for a card, and if if so, a card becomes dead. Now I kind of helped the computer, the human player out here to alert you that you got a dead card, but you got to figure out which is the dead card. Currently, we don't have any dead cards, so you don't see anything like that. But if we do see a message up here about a dead card, that's where that's that's what that's talking about. Um, let's go ahead and play this uh, King of Hearts. Okay, so I'm going to click on that spot. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, we got, all right, my partner. This is a, called a two-sided four-bagger, I call it, because we could win either here or here. All right. All right, so this computer player is going to play a blackjack now. And, whoops, see, they removed that ace of hearts. So isn't that, isn't this fun? So, okay, here we go. Let's keep going. Uh, how about the uh, seven ox? This looks good now, seven of clubs, because we almost got a run here. Okay, we drew a joker. Okay, Let's see if my partner can help me. Well, not quite, but we're getting close. Uh oh, the computer player's got a, a run there. Now, I don't have the ace of hearts or any kind of jack yet, so let's see what we got here. Uh, where is the ten of ten of? Well, okay, because I got the ten and the joker here, so let's let's try the ten of clubs. Might get a run. Uh oh, so the computer played a, had a red jack, so they got a run. So when I was taught this game, everybody says I don't know if this is if what it says in the real s uh, sequence game, but we said booyah. So that's what I put here, and a run was made. So you see, we have a run of five. The computer now team two. Uh, they're the left and right person. They've got a run now, so that we see a one here. So they're one one run away from winning. Now these chips are now frozen on here, where I can't take it off if I had a black jack. They're they're stuck for good. Computer is you know the game is good with that. Let's keep going. All right, there's my partner. There's the other computer player. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, and I'll continue then with the next round. I'll finish the game then. Uh, with these last couple and make some final comments. Thanks for watching.